Good morning. Today we are going to be learning about self-myofascial release, which is a type of stretching, also called SMR. So I've provided you each with a handout so you have a visual aid that you can use to recall this information at a later time. So let's think about stretching. What are two types of stretching that you've learned in the past, background information, prior knowledge, what do you know about stretching? Two types. Yes. Static stretching, good. So that's where I might bend over and reach for my toes and hold the position to elongate the muscles. Someone tell me another type. Good, assisted stretching. So that's where I might take the client on the floor, have them lie on their back, and add resistance to also elongate. Well, in today's lesson, I want you to be able to tell me two benefits of SMR stretching, so when you would use this type of stretching, as well as tell me two contraindications, so when you would not use this type of stretching, what type of clients is this not appropriate for. Now, let's recall what is fascia. Good, it's the muscle spindle fibers that surround all of the muscles in the, the area, okay, and when we work out they become tight or tense. So SMR is almost like deep tissue massage that we would use, one, to prepare the client for the workout so we would roll over the areas that we're going to activate to get blood circulating and two we would use this type of stretching post-workout because the client says oh I'm sore this is going to help with their recovery to break apart that fascia. There are all different types of foam rollers different densities and lengths it needs to be done on a hard surface so this would be an example of one that has ridges this would be a smooth example I would not use foam rolling on a client who is pregnant because some of the positions have them on their back, which can you know, restrict the breathing of the child. I also would not use this with someone who has varicose veins, that pressure on those areas. And I would not use SMR with a client who has any wrist issues. So they've given you an idea of a past injury, carpal tunnel, arthritis, any of those. So what you wanna do is take the client onto the floor. Today we're gonna to learn about the hamstring. So, you're going to roll on the targeted area for 30 seconds to one minute. So I'm right on the hamstrings, my wrists are here, right? So you see how the wrists are interacted. If they have issues, you cannot do this. If I wanted to add some intensity, I would cross the leg. And once I find the area where I feel that tension, I'm gonna hold, tell the client to breathe for 30 seconds to one minute, and just breathe into the in and massage, you can feel the release, it's very nice. So today's activity will be, after I show you and demonstrate all of the exercises, one person will be the trainer, one person will be the client, and then you will flip flop through so that you can experience for yourself the technique of foam rolling. So again, I want you to tell me the two times that you would use this, and also be able to tell me at least two types of clients you would not use foam rolling. All right, let's go ahead and break up into groups.